We're here in New York City with the reigning Masters champ, Bubba Watson here. You're now part of the official Oakley family. I like those yellow shades you got going on. What do you think the Masters committee would say about you wearing those on the course? <laughs> they would probably laugh and say Bubba's doing something crazy again. But, um, you know, no, it's it's big It's big for me to be a part of the Oakley family. You know, and they, they love bright colors, and I love bright colors. So, obviously, the glasses are perfect for me. How do you feel a week out from the Masters? Uh, I feel good. You know, I feel good going into it. Uh, played well there. You know, and I've, I've never missed a cut there, so I've always played pretty good there. Looking forward to the challenge again. That golf course is always challenging. The weather predicts how tough it's really going to play, though. Give us a little state of your game right now. Where are you? Uh, ment mentally and physically, I'm right where I want to be. Uh, now it just comes down to making key putts, having some breaks go my way. Take yourself out of it for a second. Of course, you see these guys on tour playing. You know who's hot right now. Who would you not be surprised to see atop the leaderboard at the Masters? You know, you got to look at the guys that are playing good. Um, obviously, Tiger's <laughs> pretty high up there. Um, you got to look at Mickelson. Mickelson's always played pretty good there. And then, you know, it's funny to say this, but Freddie, Fred Couples is always up there on that leaderboard, and it seems like he always plays good there. Um, he always scares that leaderboard. So you, you wouldn't be surprised if somehow he pulled it off. You mentioned Tiger. Sports Illustrated put him on the cover this week. Not sure if that's bulletin board material for you guys, but Noda Begay said that Tiger told him he thinks he can win 20 majors. What do you think of that? I mean, anything that Tiger says, you got to believe it because, I mean, he's proved, his, he's proved it time and time again that he can do it. You know, I, I say he's the greatest golfer that's ever walked the planet. Um, you know, he's finally healthy again. He's 100%, and so and he's proven he's winning. Um, he's back to his old form, and um, – Looks like, yeah, he could easily do it. Final question for you. We got a little leaked footage of a hovercraft that was built for you by Oakley. Can you tell us a little bit about the <laughs> Bubba Hover? Yeah, that's um, it's something that we we dreamed up. Uh, we wanted to be a uh, to do something different in the game of golf. And so Oakley and me teamed up and, and came up with this idea. And it's um, who knows how much, how far we'll go with it, but we're going to keep running with it and see what it, see what it comes up with it. Tell us honestly, what's cooler, having your own hovercraft or a green jacket? <laughs> well, the cool factor is the hovercraft for sure. For the business side of it, I think that uh, the green jacket's way better. Maybe you get one before the other. You don't have one without the other. Right, exactly. <laughs> That's true. Bubba, thank you so much and good luck at Augusta. Thank you very much.